She was the pride of Gotham City. Her innovative, state-of-the-art plastic surgery techniques, combined with the latest advances in psychotherapy, accomplished what Batman and the entire Gotham police force never could. The complete destruction of the criminal mastermind, Two-Face. If I had known then how it would all turn out, I would never have let her fall in love with me. A well-connected friend of mine arranged to have me smuggled out the rear entrance to avoid the media circus outside. Thanks for everything, Bruce. You stay out of trouble now, pal. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Good old Bruce. Not surprisingly, the DA's office didn't want to have anything to do with me. But I managed to land a position with one of the smaller law firms. It was harder than hell adjusting to normal life. I never would have made it without Marilyn. God, she was so radiant that day when we went shopping for wedding rings. Why, Marilyn, dear, where have you been hiding this gorgeous hunk of man? Madeline, uh, Harvey, this is my sister. I, um, we have to go. Bye, Harvey. See you soon. I wanted to tell you. I swear I did. The psychologists were afraid that if you knew I had a twin sister, it would ignite Two-Face's obsession with duality. Especially since Madeline, she... She's been in and out of institutions her whole life. God, Harvey, I'm so sorry. Please, tell me you're going to be okay. I lied. Told her I'd be fine. What else could I do? I tried to fight it. But I could feel my perfectly ordered world starting to unravel. Knock, knock. I thought you might like to treat your fiancé to a late supper? Love to, honey, but I have to finish this brief before tomorrow's session. Marilyn! Come on, lover. Give us a kiss. Very funny, Madeline. Go play your sick game somewhere else. I'll bet little Miss Goody Two-Shoes doesn't kiss you like that. Shut your mouth, you little tramp! You're hurting me. It's okay, baby. I like it rough. Poor Marilyn never suspected. I couldn't help thinking how wonderful her sister would be in bed later that night. I realized there was only one thing to do. It's over. If you try to tell Marilyn about us, I'll deny it ever happened. Oh, no. That ugly little bitch has been taking what's mine since the day she was born. Well, not this time. I'll see her in hell first. I went back to my place and tried to put it out of my mind. Crazy broad. Still, something about her tone was giving me the willies. I got nothing but busy signals when I tried to call Marilyn. I tried to relax to convince myself I was just being paranoid. But two hours later, I was still getting busy signals. My heart was pounding to beat the band as I raced to her apartment. I took the stairs three at a time, but already I knew that I would be... too late. I staggered about the apartment, my mind whirling. Every fiber of my being cried out for vengeance, for blood. But I was cured. That's right. That's what they said. Cured. Sane. Harvey Dent was no killer. Fortunately, I knew someone who was. <laughs> Somehow, she found me. I had to do it, you know. She didn't love you. Not the real you. She loved a pretty fied, watered-down version of you. She could never love your passion, your rage, your inner fire, like I do. Well, then this must be your lucky day. What do you say, Madeline? Still want me? Yes, I do. Don't you see, Harvey? We're two of a kind. We were made for each other. What was I thinking? 
How could I destroy this lovely creature whose savage heart was as black and hateful as my own? Look at that face, those eyes, that perfect mouth, so much like Marilyn. Then I just waited for you to show up, as you always do, to take me back where I belong, with the rest of the crazy people. <laughs>